Welcome to Tape Sculptor by Impact Soundworks. This is our next generation tape emulation plugin. Before we get into the walkthrough, let's hear what it sounds like on an entire track across different channels, buses, and on the master. This tool is unlike any other tape plugin out there. Programmed by Jatin Chowdhury, who is a master DSP artist, it's capable of everything from subtle analog warmth, character, and glue, to extreme saturation, modulation, and experimental sound design. You can use it on the master to pull everything together in a smooth blanket of oxide goodness, on buses to fatten up your drums and bass, on synthesizers to bring out vibrance, or just about any other place you can think of. The sky's the limit and it truly starts sounding magical as you layer more and more instances. Listen to these drums as we enable Tape Sculptor for each kick, then the snare, then the drum bus, and then on the master. Okay, let's back up for a moment. Tape Sculptor consists of 10 modules laid out in this single beautiful UI. What you see here represents everything the plugin can do. Tape saturation and compression have their own modules with emphasis affecting both of them. Let's hear how this all sounds with a few different tweaks. Notice how the signal you send, both its volume, transients, and overall frequency range, greatly affects the sound of the saturation and compression. This is absolutely by design, since Tape Sculptor uses a very deep and advanced physical model to emulate how audio and analog tape actually works. It's non-linear, unique, and true to life. Simply adjusting the input gain to the plugin with no other changes can make a dramatic difference on the fatness and the richness of the sound. Now the emphasis section might appear simple, but under the hood is a wonderful, rich tonal filter which affects the pre-compression and post-saturation signal. Now if you have compression and saturation turned off, this won't do anything. This is far from a simple EQ, as these settings can dramatically change the character of the tape compression and drive. There's really no better way to explain it than to just see and hear it in action.
The compressor module is not a typical digital compressor that simply reduces dynamic range transparently. Instead, it emulates the compression of audio on physical reel-to-reel -reel tape itself, which has the side effect of reducing dynamic range, but also introduces quite a few other effects on the transients, tone, and harmonics. It even has its own sort of internal saturation if you push it enough. You really have to hear it in action to appreciate the range of what it can do. Now, many tape plugins stop here with saturation, maybe some compression, and that's about it. But with Tape Sculptor, it's really just the beginning. The whole lower section is full of modules that emulate various analog behaviors and quirks of real tape. If you're looking to make your sound more vintage, retro, lossy, or lo-fi, this is the place to look. We'll start with degrade, which emulates what happens to a tape when it wears down naturally over time. This generally polishes off the high end of the signal, which is a pleasing effect in small doses, but can get much more intense at higher values. Chew is totally unique to Tape Sculptor, simulating what happens if a tape is literally chewed up by a malfunctioning tape machine. Loss module is very important because it models the complex physical behavior of the tape in the playhead. If you don't want damaged tape, but you do want realistic tape, this is the module you want to use. Flutter and Wow emulate the tiny changes in playback speed that happen on a real tape machine, which results in pitch modulation. Flutter is a very fast change, while Wow is on a much longer, slower time scale. These can be very subtle, barely perceptible effects, or they can go way into sound design territory. Tape Sculptor can do both.
Finally, the tape delay features a four tap processor. Each tap gets its own time, pan, and level controls, which you can tab between here. Feedback will take the output from the delay and feed it back into the plugin input. This is what truly makes the tape delay so special. You can sync this section to your track's BPM with a sync toggle, or if unsynced, it can go down to a 30 millisecond delay time. Now there's so much to explore in Tape Sculptor that this video is really just scratching the surface. I'll wrap up with a few more preset demos. By the way, I designed the entire factory preset bank myself and I had to stop myself because I was having so much fun with it. There you have Tape Sculptor. It's available now in VST3, AU, AAX, and the cutting edge clap format. There's no eye lock or dongle necessary, and there's a trial version available. Check it out and let us know what you think. This has been Andrew Aversa, and I'll see you next time.